The objectives for this video are to introduce you to the world of smartphones as it pertains to the agricultural industry. By the end of this video, you will be able to identify ways to implement smartphone features into your business and identify several apps or applications that may be beneficial to your farm and ranch. Technology has been revolutionizing how we do business for ages. It's amazing to think that we hold more technology in the palm of our hand than what it took for to send someone to the moon. As making of this video, 56% of Americans own a smartphone. 78% of small business owners believe mobile apps can make them more efficient. And 94% of farmers own a smartphone or a cellular device. 25% of agricultural retailers are using mobile apps on a weekly basis. In the busy world of agriculture, we should never pass up anything that saves us time. If Fortune 500 companies are finding smartphones so valuable and time-saving, they purchase them for their employees, why not implement them in your own farm or ranch? Smartphones can increase productivity. There are many applications already on your phone or that you can download from the internet that can vastly improve your productivity. For iPhone users, the iCloud allows you to sync your calendar with every other person in your business or household. This way you don't have to ask your spouse, business associates, or employees if certain dates are available. Instead, the entire shared calendar is right at your fingertips. The second you update a date, it will update every other device connected under the cloud. It takes the cloud one step further and offers a wide variety of online file sharing options through Google Drive. Google Drive is free to use, and it's an app that can be downloaded to any smartphone. It allows you to upload documents to an online storage center where files can be viewed on your computer, tablet, or smartphone. You can edit and save these documents on your phone while you're in the field, and other people can edit them that you give access to. Let's hear how Debbie Lyons Blythe, National Farm Mom of the Year, uses Google Drive in her ranching operation. Today in this, this day and age of uh, cell phones and everybody has a smartphone, um, there's a lot of ways that I use my phone anymore and I think it's really increased productivity. Uh, one of the most important things with livestock is that you keep track of any medications that you give. Um, and then, you know, of course, follow the withdrawal times. So one of the things that we do is uh, we have a Google document that um, you enter in. It's on everybody's cell phone that works on the farm and you enter in uh, which animal you treated, what day, what you gave it, what the symptoms were, and which person treated it, and then that goes into a spreadsheet. So I can keep track then of all of the um, animals that have been treated, when they were treated last, uh, if there were retreats, and did they get better, um, as well as then paying attention to the withdrawal times and make sure that you know we're, we're able to follow the law on those. So that's just one way that we use um, our phones. The other thing is that I really like is for the most part I'm the one that does most of the treatments um, that administer antibiotics and but let's say that my kids are in the pasture they're they're chopping thistles and they see a calf that looks you know like maybe it needs some attention they can get on another Google Doc then and scroll through and find to see if that calf's been treated and when was the last time it was treated. We also have a Google Doc that um, everybody has access to that um, will tell us when we, the last time we were at the pasture, who put out mineral, um, did you check cattle, did you chop thistles, what did you find, uh, just the basic information about the pasture. And I think the thing that is important with that is that we need to keep those records anyway. Uh, we used to just keep them on a clipboard, but you had to have that clipboard with you. But those records are really important because one of the most important things that we do is take care of the land. And so the record of what we do for the land, when we do it, and who was the one out there taking care of that is really important. And so those are two really great uses that I have um, found for the cell phone. Lock Me In is another productivity app that allows you to directly access your laptop or home workstation anywhere in the globe. You can open up pictures, files, Word documents, and have access to anything else in your home computer. This way, if you ever forget something off your computer, you have it at your fingertips. You can set permissions for which folders can be shared and can also save documents from your phone onto your desktop back home. If you're in the pasture and need a file from your home computer, you simply open the application and find it. Let's talk about email. 
Having email at the tip of your fingers is every second of the day can allow you to carry out a higher degree of customer satisfaction by replying to emails quickly and efficiently. Simple tasks like standing in line at the grocery store or sitting behind a bailing machine are now opportunities for you to save time and respond to emails. Social media is another big issue. One of the biggest issues with social media is finding time to efficiently use it while not allowing it to consume your entire life. All smartphones can run Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and even Google+. Let's hear from Debbie Lyons Blythe on how she uses her smartphone and social media while being efficient with her time. I just fit social media into my everyday. Um, I've got a phone and it's all on my phone. I use Twitter on my phone. Um, for the most part, I only interact on my phone through Twitter. And, and you can do that in just a few seconds. I, I do tell the story, though, about uh, when I was really um, connecting and having a, a great conversation with somebody on Twitter was when we um, had a twine wrap baler. So all of June, I'm baling hay, you know, constantly on the tractor and, and hours and hours. And frankly, after a day of radio, I'm done with radio. I can't do that any longer. So I use Twitter to have a conversation with people. And um, then the next year, my husband bought a bail wrap system for our bailer. And that has changed my Twitter conversations a lot because it, it's a lot shorter time and it's hard to type in a full tweet while your bail is wrapping. So I have to kind of, you know, m make it fit in my day. I don't, I don't take time out. I, I make it fit in my day. If I'm taking a break, having a cup of coffee, I'll spend some time on Facebook. If I um, am standing in a grocery store line, I'm tweeting. If I'm on the tractor, I'm using both of those social medias. Um, and Pinterest is one that I've started using as well, specifically for photography. And anymore, these cell phones have great cameras. And so you can quickly put that picture up on social media. And so I just take pictures of what I do during the day and what's going on and, and try to share those on social media. Video monitoring is another option for many farmers and ranchers. If you're a rancher and are tired of heading out to the barn at midnight to constantly check on the status of a cow, you or sow, you now have tons of video options that stream live to your iPhone, not just from your house, but from anywhere in the world. Don't want to miss your child's volleyball game because a prized heifer might calve any day? You can simply check in via video right from the bleachers. There are plenty of free applications that aren't specifically meant for agriculture that can easily be, easily be utilized for agriculture. iPhone has an iBabysitter application that, as long as you're able to connect via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, you can see what's going on inside the barn. There are countless other free apps that can be repurposed for the livestock industry. Dropcam is another example of an aftermarket system you can purchase. It is a two-way radio with night vision. Digital zoom allows you to zoom in on a specific area, and it takes less than one minute to set up. ViewZone is a wireless video camera meant for the barn or trailer. It allows you to monitor your livestock from any smartphone, tablet, or computer. For an additional price, you can zoom and pan with up to five cameras connected to your phone or computer. One drawback is you do have to have broadband internet connection within 300 feet of the camera for it to work properly. So in some areas that might not be usable for you. But wireless video applications can also create a great way to monitor wildlife, track nuisance species, and even record grazing patterns with your cattle. There are literally thousands of applications that are written for agriculture. The following is not a promotion of applications by any means, but it's merely a summary to give you a better understanding of how applications can improve the farming and ranching experience and allow you to be more efficient with your time and resources. The first one we're gonna talk about is the Connected Farm. The Connected Farm is an integrated operations management solution that helps increase efficiency in decision-making. It will give your phone real-time movement on your vehicles and report any alerts or scouting data. It will also give you the ability to view fuel usage, battery voltage, and oil pressure on your machinery. The next app is the AFID Advisor. Soybean growers can turn to an application called the AFID Advisor to determine if an AFID infestation has reached the threshold point of needing chemical applications. You simply take a picture of the infected plant and the application will count the number of aphids and the number of beneficial insects on the plant and determine if natural methods will be adequate enough to solve the infestation. 
Grower's Edge is another option. Grower's Edge is a risk management application that allows you to record grain transactions, set profit goals, monitor weather information, and track input costs. TrackNet is another application. It allows you to control your center pivots from anywhere in the country. With a simple touch of the button from your smartphone, you can start and stop your center pivot. You can also adjust the application depth and rate, view GPS, and many other characteristics. Another application option is Simple Plot Spray Guide. Simple Plot Spray Guide streamlines the process of mixing, spraying, and rec record keeping. It allows you to calculate the exact measures for a host of pesticides and insecticides, while efficiently documenting data on products sprayed, locations sprayed, and the weather conditions. Yield Check is another option. Yield Check provides growers with a simple way to calculate and store corn yield estimates. The user can organize estimates based on client, farm, and field. Satellite imagery allows the user to see the locations of all estimates on a map. A user can simply enter kernel counts for three ears of corn and reveal the amount of bushels they can expect in the fall. Catalog and Ivestock Manager are created by the same company. One of them is free and the other is available for a small charge. You can monitor your cattle herd or livestock operation by inputting breeding, calving, vaccination dates, and the administration of treatments. iLivestock Manager provides information of up to 90 different species. Both programs will sync the information into iCloud so that you can share and update this information across multiple devices. So let's review. Businesses across the globe are using smartphones to increase their efficiency, become more profitable, and save time. You too can be one of these people. There are countless apps that are created to help people just like you. Picking the right one will involve a little bit of research and a dedicated to, dedication to learning, but hopefully we've provided at least some introduction to these so you can explore them more on your own time and decide which are appropriate for your operation.